Welcome to Revit Basic Course 2. I'm working with our room. Let's start again. Uh, what do I need here? I need some furniture, electrical equipment, floors, roofs, other details. So if I want to place this bed adjacent to this wall, I can align it. Modify, go to modify, align, <coughs> modify, align, and click on the edge, then click the bed to be aligned. And I can lock the bed with the wall. But it is not right way to lock. Maintain a seat back here. <coughs> DI for dimension. Press tab to change the edge or center three hundred maybe now log this dimension I don't need to visualize it so hide this element now check the bed is moving with the wall it is constrained the dimension then again go to components load family electrical we can electrical I don't need architectural lighting. I just lighting and side table. Go <coughs> family furniture. Go to furniture. Seating or tables. Table round. Table, 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 night stand. Place the table seems very large. I need to make it smaller. So select this table and go to edit type. Duplicate it to 450 by 450. by 450 oh no sorry for this ok now change the dimensions of the parameter 450 450 and 450 apply now it seems better now align this table with the end edge of the bed align lock it in place align, lock it in place mirror Go to mirror tool, axis. Now go to component and now the furniture leverage. Okay, lighting. 
I think it will be internal flat round. I do not need I need table lamp. Okay, table lamp standard here. Table lamp hemisphere, table lamp part, the table lamp. Place it in the center. Pick the host. I'll go to section view to check the height if it is placed on the table or under the table. So go to view and as you can see it the bottom of the the bottom of that lamp is under the table to find a thin line now no 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 more manage modify go to modify modify or is modify move move it upward MB similarly copy mirror or copy mirror this the center <clears throat> now go to shaded view Have the lamp. Here's the lamp. So, as you can see, the electric light is placed on the table. Now, let's check this section. window the height of the window seems very very little height maybe 1500 <coughs> Align top top as you can see that there is no proof of uh, the room. So go to level floor plans. There is no level visible here. Check Go to South Elevation Level Zero Level One. So <coughs> go to Level One and draw a pure outline, or pick the lines from the of the wall and lock it in place to constrain the properties of the floor lock <clears throat> trim and extend now it sounds okay we like to was that go up to the floors level at us to the bottom maybe if I yes it is at us to the bottom level But I do not need these types of floor above, so I can change the floor type. Even I do not need this type of floor. I need very simple floor, so I need the type and duplicate it to uh, 150 mm RCC floor.
go to structure to 150 150 finish layer may 125 125 finish layer 22 or 50 okay but if I want to Change the change the structural element materials. Change it to RCC. Rename it to RCC. Graphical appearance must be changed to surface pattern. Concrete or the stained gypsum plaster. Cut pattern should be concrete, okay. And surface pattern should be model pattern. This is the thing when thrust them. That's it's okay. No, apply it. Okay. Seems better this time. TL for thin line. And HL for hidden line graphic. Go to level one. Two plans. Zero level one. <clears throat> well, it's just a practice of simple tools and techniques of Revit. But if I want to work, extend this project, then I need columns, beams. Beam is one of the very complex and uncomfortable tool of Revit but it's a fine tool for structure it's a fine tool for structural drawings now if I want to add some column and beam for this project for this not uh, not for this project but for this for this room and what do I need to do go to structure uh, column by default it is universal column steel column but I need RCC column so load family okay structural column and concrete column rectangular concrete rectangular column open it now if I place this column here it is usually visible from level 1 Go to level zero, which is visible. Level zero to level one. <coughs> Let's copy this column. Now, what is the dimension of this column? Three hundred by four fifty. That seems very large for this room compared to this room. No matter, I can change it but I will not change it now <coughs> just try to align this it's simple just allow the line to align it align it lock it in place but I need some 
grid lines for as reference of the column and beam as a as a reference on construction site for construction site so g r for grid line In fact, I will not need a grid. Twenty-five. We'll go to fifty. <coughs> As you can see, the serial number of the grid is automatically changing. Now, if I place these are the vertical bits but if I, if I place a, a horizontal bit it is not it should be changed to an alphabetical now then again gr for grid line Now, see <coughs> the serial, the sequence of A, B, C, D is mentioned, is automatically added to with the grid line. Now align it to the, with the center of the wall. Lock it in place with the wall. Uh, but is better to lock those grid lines with the column and beam with the column or the beam so unlock it and align it with the column lock it in place lock it in place <coughs> of this structural column join it I do not like joining this but unjoin and align this edge with this wall like this the alpha tenon here is here is a problem occurring what is that problem the line thickness of the column is less than the wall what do we need to do for this it's an advanced uh, level is the work of advanced level of revit no matter i'm going to do it uh, go to manners and object object styles object styles after now go to column as you can see the wall wall <coughs> line with H one line with cut Similarly, the column structural column line with power is structural column line with structural <coughs> column structural column. 
got three project in one apply now it seems okay now the thickness of the wall and the thickness of the column seems okay uh, align this grid and the constraint align it is aligned now and join it if I want to change the visibility graphics for drawing purpose then go to override by category and cut pattern change the cut pattern by materials to solid and make it red to highlight it that's an interesting tip that's an interesting thing in the rabbit we can change visibility graphics in different view with the different properties, visual properties. <coughs> now I should align this. This down to align this wall here. <coughs> and now go to structure structural flower structural beam I need beam well it's concrete beam structural framing concrete beam As you can see, we do not see the beam line dotted here, but we can see it in 3D or in section line. Here is the beam. Okay, change the, the working plane level one. Now check it out. It's still not visible. But it is very obvious to show this dotted line where the beam should be. Next, next time I am going to show you how to adjust these visibility graphics of dotted lines. Until then, I am going to say web today. <coughs>